Hello everybody and welcome to the Showcast, a series of candid conversations from film festivals and film markets everywhere, brought to you by The Film Verdict and hosted by yours truly, Matt Mikucci. Welcome to the conclusive episode of our extensive Showcast coverage of the 2023 San Sebastian International Film Festival in Spain. I hope you have enjoyed our conversation with artists and professionals who were present and active at this prestigious annual event. And today we highlight a journey in spring from the festival's official selection, which which marks the featured directorial debut of Taiwanese filmmakers Tzu Hui Peng and Ping Wen Wang, a narrative feature exploring a man's profound grief for his late wife. We meet with the directors to talk about the reason for wanting to explore the theme of mortality, the deliberate choices of style and pacing, and the genesis of their creative collaboration. I would also like to extend a heartfelt thank you to Luis Rosero Mayor for his translation. So without further ado, fire up an audio teeny and listen to the audio waves as they fly through the air. And for the final time from the 2023 San Sebastian International Film Festival, this is the Showcast. Hello guys, uh, lovely to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us on the Showcast. Very nice to meet you all. Hello, my name is Zi Hui. As an icebreaker question, I would love to ask you quite simply about the origins of this story and uh, your interest in telling this story. Uh, Taiwanese have a very close relationship with uh, their families. Uh, myself, I myself, I'm very close to my family as well. So we want to talk about the topic of uh, losing somebody very, very close to you. Yeah, there are some some news in Taiwan in which they talk about uh, people who pass away and they keep their bodies in the in the houses. They don't let them go. To us, that was a very good inspiration to create the movie. That's something that we will face eventually in our lives, you know, losing a loved one. So, and that uh, idea of not letting go is something that we want to express. I am inspired by this film to ask you a profound question: uh, How do you guys? Feel about mortality. Uh, I was always very interested in in, in this topic since uh, early age, and if I was thinking, I'm always thinking about what uh, we are fighting for, what we are struggling uh, to endeavor in our lives. We don't know what uh, was coming after life, but we have a body in this life that we can use to travel and do different things and that's something we should cherish. I think a lot about death myself, about mortality, the idea of mortality, and about death or uh, losing family members. And I know it's something I have to accept it. I rationally know I have to accept it, but it's not natural for me yet. Um, one of the things that influenced me the most is a Buddhist um, a text. Um, that talks about death uh, as a way to uh, awake, to, to enlighten, to be awakened. I, I ask that because I think that uh, mortality, of course, is a very universal topic. How did you want to represent it? In a human way, in a spiritual way, and also in a universal way? In, in this movie in particular, uh, is, this movie is only talking about facing death itself. It's about the idea of not letting go and you know, the emotions that uh, raise with with with, with the, the death or, or the loss of someone loved. When we were uh, filming the movie, we thought about using a more humane approach, more compassionate approach to deal with, uh, with death. I, and again, I asked that because when I watched the film, the two main characters reminded me of my grandparents. It's crazy, you know, how we're all so similar. But I wondered whether they were based on people that you knew and whether you had a reference to represent a relationship that is so real. You know, the fighting, the, the bickering. <laughs> my parents are also very similar very much like that I guess after many years of being together it's very natural to to have this kind of uh, interaction between couples 
嗯，我也想提一下这部片的演员。嗯、uh, ，She would like to talk about the actors, actor and actress. Um, they originally are, are behave like that too. You know, they 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 talk to each other and kind of like they have small or petty arguments about little things, and they, they that makes it, makes her think about her own family. This is a a film that encourages reflection and contemplation. So I wondered. What was the original reason why、uh, you guys decided to make movies, essentially?、Mm. To me, it's all very natural, very very spontaneous.、Um, I, I cannot really say why I、uh, decided to make movies. I can only say that I want to make, create、uh, a movie that I like, that I enjoy watching myself. 嗯，我常常把拍电影这件事，就是我在想我为什么要拍电影，然后我就常常有有有会想到。Uh, when I think about、uh, why I'm making movies, I I also think about the meaning of life, why I'm here, what's the purpose of all this.、Uh, in the past, all the movies that I've done talk about the feelings towards life itself, and this one、uh, is about、uh, the the idea of uh, 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 yeah, a search search for the meaning of life. Yeah. And earlier, I asked you about the origins of this film, but I also want to ask you about the origins of your creative partnership. When did you guys start working together on projects? 就是一种灵光一现 There's like a spiritual connection between us. We started talking about about、uh, movies and about things that we like、uh, each other, and and then the, that's how we connected and, and began to. Think about making movies. It was very random.、Uh, she asked me,、uh, uh, "How about doing the movie together?"、And、I said, "Yes, why not?" Amazing. <laughs>、um, your film has a strong. One of the reasons why I asked you is your your film has a strong visual style. Long shots. The camera doesn't move much. And I wondered、uh, whether there was a an. Influences that inspired you to use this particular style, or even just the reason why you use this particular style. Yeah, the, we chose to、uh, we chose a, a, a slow pace、uh, of the movie because it makes you think about time, the idea of time, and in, in this、uh, quick. Everything has to be quick and fast and in, in, in immediate、uh, time that we live in.、Uh, we do this to basically go against it, go against the idea of、uh, everything has to be right now, right, done right now, the minute.、Yeah. So that's a way to think about time, passing of time. We want to try to create a new creative way of shooting. Yeah, we actually thought about creating a new way to film the movie. We had a plan when we were filming, but、uh, we were also open to different possibilities. We were flexible, and and、um, we got to the place where we wanted to film, and then、uh, sometimes we changed, and then we created a unique and special、uh, feature you know, by doing this. A final question. Obviously, 2020, the pandemic. You know, with, were difficult times. Speaking about the themes of your film, mortality, even human relationships between husband and wife, father son, mother son. Do you think what we went through with 2020 and the pandemic has helped us to reflect on these things, or has it made it more difficult? 觉得好像人有比较珍惜彼此面对面的时候，然后以前在外面。I think people cherish each other more now than than they used to. Before we used to, I used to go out traveling and, and people were very distant and, and cold. And now I came to Europe and I I think people are more friendly now.、Uh, I believe that there has been a change、uh, after the pandemic. Um.、Yeah. 就是我的回答可能没有完全跟问题有关，但是我们在做这部片的时候，刚好就是跨这个。She said that her question might not be related、嗯、directly dire, related to the question itself, her answer. But、um, she she said that、um, when they were filming the movie, they it actually happened during these three two three days of the pandemic. So、um, 
they had a long time to think about the whole process, the project, and to do it everything by hand, do it everything very slowly, paying attention to, to details without limitation of time. And for her, uh, making the movie is like um, knitting a carpet, a very big carpet, and doing it very little by little slowly until it becomes the final work. Interesting. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a great uh, pleasure meeting you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed our coverage of the 2023 San Sebastián International Film Festival in Spain, which concludes with this conversation about Journey and Spring from its official selection. Don't forget to go back and check out all other conversations from this year's edition of this prestigious annual event if you haven't done so already. We've got some real good stuff up there for you to sink your ears into. As for us cinephile, we're already looking ahead to our coverage of the upcoming Alguna Film Festival in Egypt, so stay tuned for that one as we continue to grow and to bring you our series of candid conversations from film festivals and film markets everywhere. But for now, till the next time, from The Film Verdict, this is Matt Mikuchi signing off. See you soon. Thank you.